Hi, my name is Asusena from the Chino Basin Water Conservation District, and today I'm going to teach you how to make some stem bee boxes in order to support the native bees in our community. Many people don't realize that there are many different types of bees. The most common bee you'll see in your garden is a European honeybee, which did not originate here. In California, there are over 1,600 species of native bees. Many native bees can thrive in our gardens if their needs are provided for. Native bees almost never sting and are far better pollinators than the European honeybee. With the expansion of urban areas and increase in human population, the presence of native bees has declined due to habitat loss, and they need our help. Being part of the native garden community means that we have valuable food resources for native bees. Through habitat gardening, we can increase the population of native bees. If you would like to learn more about habitat gardening, please check the links in the description below. This video series provides instructions on a number of DIY projects to provide nesting spaces for native bees. And remember, pollinator-friendly gardens don't use insecticides or pesticides in order to protect the beautiful residents of our communities. Before we begin, you'll need to gather some materials. You'll need a container, wood works fine or anything that is weather resistant. Your container should have at least a depth of 8 inches to allow for appropriate nesting space. We will be using some dried deer grass as filler in our box, although it's not necessary. You can also use wood blocks as filler pieces if you have a larger container. Most importantly, you'll need some hollow stems. We recommend using white sage. If you choose to add wood blocks to your bee box and have a drill handy, here are some drill bit sizes that would be appropriate to make bee-sized holes. Now let's harvest some white sage. Only harvest sage or any parts of native plants from your own or your friend's garden, never from the wild. If you have space, white sage is a great addition to any low water garden. Its beautiful flowers provide food for pollinators, its seeds are loved by birds, and it smells wonderful. For more on white sage, visit our garden planner that is linked in the description below. To prepare your white sage for your stem bee box, you should remove all the leaves from the stalk. Once you have a clean stalk, you should cut it into 6 inch sections. Cut your stalks before they dry out. If you have a container that has a greater depth than 8 inches, you can cut your stalks into larger sections, but you should allow for a 2 inch lip or an overhang to protect your stems from the elements. Keeping your stems and blocks as dry as possible is essential for happy and healthy bees. If you want to incorporate wood blocks in your bee box, you can drill bee sized holes. Remember to wear your safety glasses when handling power tools. We also recommend using a clamp to hold your wood steady. Your holes should look something like this. If you notice any splintering near the entrance of your holes, you should sand them down as they can cause premature tearing in your bee's wings. You can use a thin file or a grinding stone attachment for your drill to smooth out your hole entrances. The thin file fits perfectly in your smaller sized holes when filing work in a circular motion. You can continue to use the thin file on your larger holes or you could switch over to your grinding stone drill attachment. Once everything is prepared, you can put your bee box together. The way you arrange your container won't affect whether bees use it so you can be creative with your design. After some tweaking and adjustments, our box is ready to go. Placement of your box is important. Place it somewhere it will get morning sun and some afternoon shade. If you are worried about weathering and have experience weatherproofing, feel free to apply a treatment. Make sure your box is placed somewhere secure to avoid it being knocked or blown over. Now you have an interesting garden feature that'll surely make your neighbors jealous. We have another simple option made of recycled materials that can easily fit in your garden. All you'll need is a tin can with some drilled holes for drainage and a bundle of hollow stems. You might be wondering how you'll know if your stem bee box is being used. Well, bees make it pretty obvious when they've used a nesting space as they cap off the entrance with materials such as mud, plants, and resin. It's important to give your new nesting habitats at least a year after placing them for bees to find and use them. Lastly, but no less important, is cleaning and maintaining your stem bee box. Hollow stems should be thrown out and replaced once a year. If you incorporated wooden blocks in your box, you can make new ones yearly. Or you could scrub them out using pipe cleaners and a DIY 10% bleach solution. Doing maintenance on your box once yearly before spring will keep your bees mite and disease free. 
Any old lodge debris can be easily removed with some compressed air. You can spray the inside of your holes or dip your pipe cleaner in your 10% bleach solution and scrub the interior. Remember not to disturb or clean holes that are still capped off for overwintering. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Let us know how your stem bee box turned out in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. If you would like to see more content like this, click our logo to subscribe.